Hey everybody, it's Dan once again with another Git tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about Git double dot and triple dot, triple dot notation. So let's clear the screen and get started. So when I talk about double dot and triple dot notation, what I'm talking about is a ref, double dot, another ref, or in, in the triple dot case, ref, triple dot, ref. And of course in this uh, Example, when we say ref, we mean a branch or a SHA-1, some type of identifier of a location in Git history. And today we're actually going to focus on a drawing that I drew up that basically explains all of this because it's uh, complicated and different depending on the command you're using, which is so typical of Git. So check out this cheat sheet I drew up that basically explains these dot notations. Okay, so. If you're to look into the definition of double dot notation here in blue, so A and B are refs. This is just showing a typical um, git tree of commits where each dot is a commit. And I've labeled some important parts here. So A is the tip of the A branch or the, the location of the A commit. B is a location of the B commit, could be a branch here, and M is labeled M because it is the merge point, the, the, the common merge point of both branches A and B. So in the double dot notation, and I had to write this all down and put in a graphic because I cannot remember it, even to this day I reference this graphic, so I, I encourage you to do the same thing if you also have a terrible memory like me. So A double dot B means commits reachable from B but exclude those reachable from A. So when they talk about reachable they mean is there a path between the commits. So when we say A double dot B we're talking about commits reachable from B but excluding commits reachable from A. So the commits that are reachable from B are obviously the B commit, the parent of the B commit, and the parent of that commit and M and everything behind M in the tree, right? So those are the commits reachable from B. It's basically B and everything backward in time from B. The commits reachable from A are pretty much the same thing. So the A commit, the parent, M, and everything back from that. So in the definition of A double dot B, what we're saying is the things that are reachable from B but exclude those reachable from A. And that happens to be the blue highlighted commits here. I hope that makes sense visually. So the triple dot notation means commits that are reachable from A or B, but excludes those reachable by both. Which, uh, if you go through the exercise we just did for the double dot notation, means the commits that are highlighted by the red arrows on this graph. So those that are reachable from A or B but excluding those reachable by both. So really we're talking about the commits that are on A and B back to but not including the latest merge point of those two branches. Okay so in the git log sense, what that means over here is that git log a triple dot b is five commits and git log double, uh, a double dot b is three commits, right? So this is confusing enough as it is in my opinion. But because git is git, the double dot and triple dot notation is different in diff versus log. <laughs> Of course it is. So it's actually easier to understand on the diff side, in my opinion, because I use the diff side more. A lot of times you want to know what are the differences between two points in history. You're less interested in what are the commits that exist on these strange reference tree mechanisms called triple and double dot, um, which is what the git log implementation does. But in git diff, uh, for example, the uh, if we took git diff a triple dot b, that is equivalent to, if you see my git diff tutorial videos, git diff commit m on the left, b on the right. Which basically means give me the difference between 
B and the last merge point between A and B. That's basically what this triple dot diff notation means. And in the double dot sense, get diff A double dot B is just equal to get diff A B. So what that means is in the double dot sense, you're saying, I want to know the difference between this state and this state. And in the triple dot sense, you're saying, I want to know the difference between this state and this state for these two commands. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to bring this back up after showing you a couple examples uh, because this notation is useful, uh, especially the triple dot notation when it comes to git diff. So let's see if we can flip over to the terminal and show you what I mean here. We're going to actually go through an exact example of this. So I am in a clean git repo. My head is detached from this old uh, ref that we used in a different video. And if I show you alias gt, you will see that I just have a git log alias that can show us the history in the graph view. And so we're going to actually go through this example um, that I just showed you in both senses. So uh, we're going to use uh, this commit 852 as our A in this example. And we're going to use this commit C44 as our B. So remember, it doesn't really matter where we're checked out here. We're actually checked out here, but the commands we're going to be doing are going to be independent of where we're actually checked out in history. So it doesn't really matter where head is. So if we wanted to replicate this example, let's do uh, git log, and we're just going to do one line to keep it more visible, just makes the commit shorter. And then we're going to do a double dot b. So in this case, we got a. Oops. <clears throat> b. Okay. So remember, this is the double dot sense, which if I flip over here, we're talking about doing this command right here. So um, because we've set it up similarly, we're going to expect three commits here, right? We're going to actually expect to see the commits here in git log. Let's see if that's what we get. Okay, so we told it to give us the commits in this range. Remember, we did A here, B here. So the commits that we see are the three commits back from B, C44, 70AC, and 832, which is exactly what we expect based on this graphic, right? So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Uh, except we're going to give it triple dot. Same A and B, triple dot notation. And what do we see? We see C44, we see all the same commits we had before, but also the other commits uh, on the A branch, right? So let me show you back where we were. So this was A, this was B. We said, give us git log between A triple dot B and we got C44, which is here, 7AC, 852, which is actually on the A branch, 6DC, which is on the A branch, and 832. So that's exactly what we said would happen based on our graphic. Now, that, that's kind of a little weird. Who wants to do this typically? Uh, I don't know if I've ever used this in the git log notation, but this triple dot notation, this way and, and the double dot notation. These are ways of specifying ranges of commits that can be useful in a lot of different commands, whether you're doing rebases or any other complicated mechanisms or like in Git log case, you just want to see that range of commits. You can do that. Okay. Let's clear that for a second. Now we're going to do the git diff example with the exact same range. So let's bring back up our GT view so we can see this is a this is B. And we're going to do git diff. Uh, we'll do name only just so we don't see a bunch of output. And we will do a double dot B. And we'll see that four files are 
changed. So in this double dot notation, remember, this is basically just equivalent to saying, I want to see the exact diff between this state and this state. And so that's, you might say, well, why, why would I ever do that? Because that's the same thing as this. And that's a great point. You might never do that. But what's cool is the triple dot notation, which I'm going to show you right here. So we add one more dot. You notice we have a different set of diffs. And it makes sense, right? Because in, in, the, in the two dot example, we're saying, you know, give me the difference between this commit and this commit. But a lot of times in a workflow where you have multiple branches going on, this is less useful because you're saying, like, if B is a topic branch and A is an integration branch, then you're going to see the differences between your changes and the latest changes of the integration branch. That's not necessarily that useful. A lot of times you only care about what are the changes associated with my topic branch, which is B in this example. And that's what the triple dot notation lets you do. Because by definition, it says here, to get diff A triple dot B is the difference of the B commits back to the last merge point between B and A. So what's cool about this is that this is actually, if you've ever used GitLab or you know anything about it, if not, check out my previous uh, introduction to GitLab video. This git diff uh, A triple dot B is exactly what the changes tab of your merge request is showing when you are essentially creating a merge request for something like origin slash topic branch triple dot origin slash integration branch. So what's cool about this is that in, in GitLab it makes sense to do that, right? Because you want to know on your merge request the changes that you're bringing in relative to the last merge point. The changes, you don't want to show the diff between B and A because your integration branch, A in this example, is constantly moving. So the diff between the latest B and the latest A makes no sense. You don't want to see that. You want to see what changes came in on your topic branch. And this triple dot notation is the way to do that. Okay, so I hope that made sense. I'm going to leave this graphic up till the end of the video because I like to summarize the videos uh, at the end, but I can't exactly do that in the terminal this time. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, let me know. I've been using this triple dot notation a lot more now on the git diff side now that I understand it better, and I encourage you to do the same thing if you find it useful. All right, I'll see you guys next time.